Okay, on to the mystery cylinder. I have to be honest, I don't know what's inside that mystery cylinder, but I was able to replicate the motion, so I have evidence to support the hypothesis that it may be the same thing that was in that mystery cylinder. But uh, if we're doing good science, we have to be honest here and say, I can't confirm that this is what's in there, but it's consistent with the observations. If we had more data, we could do further testing to see if, it, uh, if it's more likely to be this or something else. But I'll show you what I came up with. After some tinkering, I should point out, uh, I did find that if, uh, if you did put a viscous liquid uh, into a container, I did a bit of trial and error, and I found that uh, corn syrup, which is what I have in here, it's approximately half full, uh, worked pretty well. I'll show you how it rolls down the inclined plane here again, varying the angle of inclination, varying the amount and, and, and variables as much as you can. I got it to work pretty well, I think. So just putting it at the top of the incline and letting go. It stops, it rolls, it rolls, it stops. Sometimes it rolls better than other times, sometimes it stops better than other times. I'll try one more time here. And off you go, stop, roll. Sometimes it actually comes to a dead stop. Uh, I'll, I'll get some close-up footage of it. Okay, so to try to make a quick sense of why this rolls erratically, let's start with understanding why something would normally just roll smoothly and not accelerate in an unusual way. Okay, so for a perfectly circular symmetric object, uh, we would expect to see a center of mass at its geometric center. And if it's on a level surface, then the point of the circular object that would be in contact with the surface would be exactly below the center of gravity, this center of mass for the object. That means that the force of gravity pulling the object down would not provide a torque at all around the point of contact where the object meets the surface. Okay, now, if the surface becomes inclined, however, and I'm going to actually incline this quite a bit just to make my point. Uh, hopefully that'll be somewhat stable. Eh, maybe more like that. Close enough. Okay, so here's the idea. The force of gravity would still pull it straight down, but the point that it is in contact with the surface will no longer be vertically lined up with that center of gravity. And that means the force of gravity pulling down as if applied to that point would cause a rotation to result, causing it to roll down as expected. Now, for our object, the, um, the, the liquid inside obviously can slosh around, it can move around, and that can change where the center of gravity is. So if I put it down and just let it kind of come to an equilibrium, the surface inside will be level, and the center of gravity will indeed be offset from the point that it's in contact with the surface. That means the force of gravity will provide a torque to make this thing start rolling. But being a thick, viscous liquid, it'll somewhat stick to the container walls and be somewhat, if I do it rapidly to make my point, somewhat left behind for a little while. When the mass is piled up on the one side, it shifts the center of gravity, relatively speaking, kind of further upstream, if you will, and it's possible for it to line up with the point of contact on the surface, in which case it wouldn't roll. But of course, being a viscous liquid, it will slide back into position, and so it can resume its roll and stop rolling when the center mass shifts over, and uh, it, uh, it can oscillate, basically, if its uh, the parameters are right. So yeah, there we go. That's why this thing rolls in a herky-jerky way when the angle is just right. Way too steep in that case.